Hello Pisces. Please excuse the noise in the background. My grandson's here and, and I had to move out to the living room because it's just too hot in the back of the house right now. So I'm doing general readings um, this time for the last half of June. And um, this is for Pisces. I fell off the puddles guys, it's okay. <laughs> That's my grandson. He fell off the pillows. It's okay. You already know me, don't you? Yes, if you've watched... Uh, Please subscribe for Grandma's video. That's right, that's the guy. <laughs> okay. For Pisces. Bye-bye. For the last half of June. Okay, gen this is a general reading. And so this is your current energy. This is how people see you. This is what's blocking you, okay? This is how you overcome those blocks. This is what you need to do within yourself to achieve your goals. This is what lessons you need to learn. And this is your future outcome. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like a good outcome. Well, if it was reversed, then that would be good. You're right, it would be. So, I am not a terrible boy, just so you know. I just want to join Grandma's video, just, and so, what I'm saying is, you see, this is a bad sign. Yes, but little Which, by little you'll learn these cards, but um, you, you have a good grasp of them already. But your current energy, I've got the Page of Cups uh, in reverse. Um, which is uh, immaturity. Um, you're not like currently, you don't feel emotionally prepared to uh, go forward. You feel blocked. Um, but you know, that's kind of the purpose of this whole thing. And what, um, what uh, your, how people see you, um, I have here um, uh, judgment. Um, so, in the, it's in the reverse. So, this is self-doubt. So apparently, people are seeing you as not having a whole lot of confidence currently. Um, they see you as someone who's refuses to really look within. Um, I, I don't know if that's the truth of the matter, but that's how what people are thinking anyway. No, thank you, honey. Oh, you already have some. Yes. And um, what blocks you is uh, the two of pentacles in reverse. So this is an imbalance. This is an inability to uh, juggle things. Um, you, um, I would say that uh, this is disorganized. Um, that would certainly block you um, from going forward. Um, what else? Yeah, um, disorganization. So disarray. I mean, not um, not having your ducks in a row, basically. Um, and this will help you to overcome those blocks. And what I have here is the Ace of Pentacles uh, in the upright. Um, so um, this is manifestation. Um, this is this is a new beginning, uh, financial opportunity, perhaps um, prosperity, and and I can see how that would help you overcome the blocks. Maybe you can hire someone to help you organize. <laughs> okay, but what you need to do within yourself to achieve your goals. Um, and I've got the High Priestess here in reverse. Um, so, uh, in reverse, um, this is not using your intuition, basically. Um, I have so much action going on next to me over here with my little guy. Um, this is Yes, you need to listen to that inner voice, and apparently um, you're not really doing that right now. You, um, 
you have intuition, everybody does. A lot of people don't think they do, but you do. And uh, the lessons that you need to learn, I have the uh, nine of coins in the upright, and um, this is uh, gratitude. Um, and that's, uh, boy, that's one of the most important lessons. Be grateful for what you have. Um, Self-sufficiency is a good thing. Uh, and this is what this is. Um, this is luxury. And so with gratitude, you, you're going to be bringing these things into your life and closer to you. And... The final outcome I, I'm, or the pers the future outcome or perspective outcome, I have the nine of swords in the upright, and that's nightmares, uh, uh, tortured thoughts, sleepless nights, depression, anxiety. Um, now this is only a potential here. Um, so apparently, if you if you were to to heed this lesson uh, of gratitude, I'd say you could, um, you could avoid this as your final outcome. Um, oh, okay, well, I have the moon here uh, in reverse as a clarifier. Um, and this is, this is releasing fear. Uh, so all these tortured thoughts and these sleepless nights, um, you'll have the ability to, to let that stuff go. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's a more positive outcome, certainly. So, as far as a possible outcome, um, heed the lesson that you need to uh, learn about gratitude and being self-sufficient, and you can let go of the fear. And things will be um, what they seem. I'm going to pull a um, work your light uh, oracle card, but apparently Ash has something he wants to say. Yes? No? Maybe not. Oh, do, you, do you want to pick a card for the uh, advice? Yes. T touch the tops and see which one feels warmer to you. Which one? That one? Okay. Get grounded. I like this advice. Um, so, uh, you can um, tap into your energy, the energy of the earth, the energy of the universe, and connect with what you need to by, I know this sounds crazy, taking your shoes off and going outside. <laughs> yes, we do that a lot. Yes, we My do. My feet is used to rocks now. <laughs> The first time well, I tried it, I was not, but now I am because my feet are rock-proof now. Well, they're not rock-proof, but you have to learn how to walk right. But uh, uh, try it in the lawn. Uh, that's, uh, that grounds you just as well, maybe even better, and it's much more pleasant. So um, get grounded. Uh, there's your advice. Uh, for Pisces, last half of June. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.